Hi friends, my name is Krishna. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We already discussed about the meaning of trial balance. Why should we learn trial balance immediately after ledger chapter? What is the importance of preparing trial balance? What are the methods in preparing trial balance? And what do you mean by adjusted trial balance? And what are the limitations in the trial balance? Right? We discussed about all these points in our two previous videos. In this video, we are going to discuss about one illustration which I extracted from CA Institute material, foundation material, illustration 1. I am going to explain about the same illustration. Clear? This illustration basically talks about asking us to prepare trial balance in all the three you know, methods. We discussed about total method, balancing method, total and balance method. These three methods we discussed, right? This illustration is asking us to prepare the trial balance in those three methods. That's all. Okay? Let us watch this video till the end so that you will definitely get to know how to prepare the trial balance in all the three methods. Right? Uh, let us not waste the time and get into the subject. Okay, guys. Illustration 1. This is what you know we are going to discuss today. Given below is a ledger extract relating to the business of X and company as on 31st March 2020. So in the problem, in this problem, the ledger has already been given. You are required to prepare the trial balance by the total amount method. They are asking us to prepare the trial balance in total amount method. But I am going to explain balance method and total and balance method as well. Because illustration 2, they took the same illustration 1 as an example and asked us to prepare the trial balance and balance method. So what I did is, I prepared all the three methods with the same example uh, so that illustration 1 and 2 can be covered in this chapter, in this uh, no video itself. That is the intention behind it. Okay. Let us move on to the illustration 1. So what is that he is asking? He has given the ledger balance. So let me let me show you what and all he has given here. He has given cash account. Furniture account, Salis account, Sham account, Purchase account, Purchase returns account, Rams account, Sales account, Sales returns account, Capital account. These are the accounts that he already prepared and given to us and asking us to prepare the trial balance in totals method. Okay, so let us move on to the first one. Here, what are we going to discuss? Cash account. Cash account in totals method, how do we prepare? We need to take that. See, one thing we need to keep in mind. In totals method, how do we prepare the trial balance? We will take the debit side total. We will take the credit side total and put both the totals in the trial balance. I am repeating again. Take the debit total, take the credit total, put both the you know, totals in the trial balance. That's all you need to do in total method. In total method, what you are supposed to do? Take the debit total, take the credit total, put both the totals. Debit, uh, debit amount in debit column and credit in credit column. That's all you need to do in total method. But one thing what you need to keep in mind here is while totaling this debit and credit, you should not take balance carried down. See here, balance carried down is there. Wherever you see balance carried down, that should not be taken into account in our totals. That is the one important point you need to keep in mind. Why I should not take balance carried down there? That is the balancing done. That is not a total. That is a balance. So we should not take balance. That you need to exclude while totaling. That means now you total this. It is coming 35,500. See here, 35,000 debit total they mentioned here. See here, after removing 7,500, if you add all these items, it will be coming to 28,000. See, 28,000 is updated here. So debit total is updated in debit side of the trial balance. Credit total of 28,000 is updated in Trade side of the trial balance. Did they consider this 7,500? We should not. Why we should not consider? That is the balance. That is not a total. Right? So we should not take this balance carried down. This is balancing method. That will come in balancing method that I will discuss later. So debit total is 35,500. That has been updated here. Credit total, if I total all these things, it is coming to 28,000. The 28,000 is updated in credit side. So cash account is done. Move on to the next one. Next one is what? Purchase account, go to the purchase account, sorry, uh, furniture account. Furniture account you see here, 
3000 debit total is there any credit total it is there but it is pertaining to balance carry down so you should not take this credit total you have to take only debit total so go to trial balance and see whether it is updated or not see here furniture account furniture account updated as 3000 debit balance there is no credit hence no balance here clear move on to the salaries salaries you have debit total of 2500 but credit you have balance carried down this total we should not take into account so only 2500 see here 2500 debit side salaries updated clear then move on to the next one let me move this you know problem up salaries we have completed what is there here sham sham account is showing what see here in sham account this we should not take into account why this is pertaining to balance carry down so what is left 21500 is the debit total 25000 is the credit total see whether it is updated accordingly or not in trial balance see here 21500 debit side 25000 credit side what is that account do you want to see this side also see this is pertaining to sham account sham account we have already updated 21500 and 25000 are you clear right move on to the next one sham account is done next one purchase account what is that updated in purchase account let us see purchase account we should not take balance carry down this is not total this is the only total we need to take 26000 let us see whether 26000 is updated here or not in trial balance debit side go up and see see purchase account 26000 is updated already here debit side clear move on to the next one purchase account is over then which account purchase returns purchase returns how much we need to take into account balance carry down this total we should not take what total we need to take here let us go little bit right side and see this 500 we need to take into account this 500 we should not take because this is balance carried down so 500 we need to update in credit side of the trial balance let us see whether it is updated or not see 500 is already updated purchase returns here are you able to see this 500 purchase returns credit side right move on to the next one purchase returns is completed let me delete this purchase returns is completed right next rams account what is there in rams account let us see that rams account you have 30000 debit side 100 credit side 25000 credit side this 4900 we should not take because it is balance carry down we should not take so debit side we need to update 30000 total and the credit said we need to update 25100 let us see whether it is updated accordingly in the trial balance or not go up and see trial balance ram account see 30000 debit see guys we have to be very very careful see ram's account 30000 debit we have updated 25100 credit we have updated clear let us move on to the next account <laughs> so ram account is completed and then sales account sales account what is there sales account you have you have 30500 in balance carried down debit side this should not be taken into account correct credit side you have 500 credit side you have 30000 so total put together credit side how much you have 
30,500. So sales account, you need to put only credit side of the trial balance. Let us see whether it has been kept or not. Let me delete this also. 30,500 credit side sales account. See here 30,500 credit side. This is what I was referring to. 30,500 sales account. Credit side it is mentioned. There is no balance in debit side, so no, no balance here. Then move on to the next account. Sorry. So we have completed sales account, sales returns. See here, sales returns, what is the balance here? Balance carried down, we should not take. Balance carried down, we should not take. Only this 100. Right? Capital account, you see, we both together will complete. Here, 500 we have to take into account. This 10,000 we have to take into account. But this 9,500 we should not take into account. So, sales returns, we have to update in debit side. And capital, debit side 500, credit side 10,000. This is how you need to update. Let us see whether it is updated accordingly or not. See here. Sales return. 100. Debited here. Capital account 500 debited. And 10,000 created. That's all. When they totaled. The total is getting tallied. 1,19,100 in both the sides. So you are ensuring that your trial balance is. Uh, you know establishing an arithmetical accuracy. That's all about total method. Are you clear? Right. Let us move on to the next method. Balance method. Balance method what we, you know, we are supposed to update. See here in balance method, we have to be very careful. When we are preparing balancing method, we have to see where is the balance brought down. We have to see where is the balance brought down. Please note down this. Here, they have given balance carried down 7500 in this cash account this is the first account they have given balance carried down 7500 where is the balance brought down they have not given the balance brought down but if the balance carried down is in credit side balance brought down should have been in debit side if the balance carried down is in debit side balance brought down will be in credit side that's all very simple so here balance carried down is in credit side balance brought down will be in Debit side. So, this 7500 based on the balance brought down, you need to update in trial balance. Carried down is credit, but brought down is what? Debit. So, brought down is debit. So, cash account we need to update in debit side, this 7500. So, what we are doing basically here is we are balancing the account, and which, whatever account you take into account, if that account has a debit brought down a debit as a brought down balance we update that in debit side if the brought down balance is in credit side we update that amount in credit side in this particular cash account brought down balance is in debit side because carry down has come in credit that means brought down should have been there in debit side so since cash account balance has brought down balance in debit side i need to go and update this in debit side of my trial balance let us see whether i updated accordingly or not so we need to go to the balance method. See here, seven thousand five hundred. Debit said we updated for cash account. Are you clear? That's all. Then go to furniture account. Furniture account carry down balance is there in credit side. That means what brought down should have been debit side. To balance brought down. He has not given in the problem, but we need to we need to understand where should have been the brought down balance. Brought down balance is here the three thousand. So since brought down balance is showing debit side for furniture account, that should come in debit side. See here furniture account debit side. Clear? See the salary account. Carry down balance is in credit side. So brought down balance to balance brought down. That also should have been here in debit side. 2500. So, salaries account 2500. See here. Debit side they have recorded. Right? Then, see here. 
sham account 3500 we are showing as balance carried down that means brought down balance should have been in credit side since carried down is in debit side brought down should have been in credit side so sham account if you see this 3500 they are showing in credit side why credit carried down is in debit side but brought down we have to take brought down into account brought down is in credit side since brought down is in credit side i have taken this 3500 in credit side of my trial balance are you clear let me clear this and go to the next account sham account is over then go to the purchase account see here purchase account purchase account carried down balance is in credit side that means what brought down will be in debit side two balance brought down 26000 that has not been provided in the you know problem that is the reason i am putting two balance brought down 26000 so since brought down is in debit side so purchase account is shown debit side clear purchase returns purchase returns balance carried down is in debit side that means brought down is in credit side by balance brought down 500 in credit side so this has come in credit side clear then move on to the next account ram account see here ram account ram account is having a balance carried sorry ram account uh, ram account is here right ba uh, balance carried down is here in credit side <coughs> balance carried down is in credit side that means brought down should have been in debit side two balance brought down 4900 clear so ram account should have been there in debit side in trial balance let me show you how that has been recorded RAM account, right? See RAM account, RAM account. See here RAM account. RAM account is having 4,900 debit balance. Are you clear? Then move on to the next one. RAM is done. Next what account after RAM? Sales account. Sales account, see here. Sales account has carried down balance in debit side. That means what? Brought down should have been here. By balance brought down 30,500. Very simple, guys. Just go to brought down balance and put that amount. Brought down balance is in credit side. So, sales account should have been in credit side in my trial balance. Let me Let me go there and show you. See here, 30,500 credit side. Do you want to see the description as well? See. Sales account credit side. Clear? Right. Then, sorry. Sales returns account, you see. Balance carry down is where? Balance carried down is in credit side. That means what? Brought down balance should have been in debit side. Balance brought down 100. So sales return has to be shown in debit side of the trial balance. We will check that along with capital also. Here carried down balance is in debit side. That means brought down balance is in credit side. Balance brought down 9,500. Right? Now you see sales account, sales returns account will have a debit balance of 100 because brought down is in debit side. Capital account will have credit balance of 9500 because carry down is in debit side. Simple. Let me go and show you. How that has been recorded. See. 100 sales returns debit side. Capital account 9500. Clear? That's all. When we total this, this is 44,000 and this is 44,000. Both the totals are matching. Hence, you are ensuring that there is an arithmetic accuracy 
while preparing the trial balance. That's all about balancing method. Are you clear? Do you have any doubts? If you have any doubts, please comment on my video. I will answer all those questions. Okay? Then, moving on to total and balancing method together. There is no specific thing to you know explain on this topic but let me tell you how this has been prepared see first two columns this is a debit this is a credit this is a debit this is a credit this is basically prepared based on the balance this is prepared on total method these two columns for total method and these two columns for balance method that's all. Whatever amount we discussed in total method, whatever we discussed in balance method, those amounts are kept here and they prepared a total and balance method. There is no need to specifically talk about this particular method because just simply incorporating total balance, total, um, uh, total method balances and balance method balances here in four different columns and total. See here 44,000, 44,000. Here also 44,000, 44,000. Total method total is 1,19,100, 1,19,100. So that's all. We just need to club, you know, total method and balance method together and prepare that as a total and balance method. Are you clear? So in this, in, in this particular illustration, CA Institute has given the ledger balances and asked us to prepare the trial balance in total method, balance method, and total method and balance method, all the three methods. So we prepared trial balance in all the three methods. And if you have any doubts, please feel free to comment on my video. I will definitely you know, answer your questions. Clear? I hope you like the content. If you like the content, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with your friends. Your friends might be studying CA Foundation, 11th Standard, 12th Standard. Right? So I'm, I'm, I'm giving you this uh, you know, subject with free of cost. And you can refer my playlist. Chapter wise, I'm updating all the videos. Playlist, you need to look into it. Please remember this. If you look at the playlist, chapter wise, I'm updating. And I'm, I'm solving all institute you know, illustrations. I'm not taking any illustrations from any other textbook. I'm solving all you know illustrations given in uh, CA Institute material. In case if 11th standard and 12th standard you know people feel that these problems are very tough, and I wanted to, we wanted to learn 11th standard you know uh, problems. Please let me know. I will shoot the videos accordingly. Right. So that's all I you know for today. Thank you so much. And as I said, please share this video with your friends. Thank you so much. Bye.